2024 KTM 990 Duke First Ride Mastering the Art of Motorcycle Engineering With the debut of the 2024 990 Duke, KTM steps boldly into the arena of top naked bikes, shedding its previous label as merely a contender among middleweights. However, the shift doesn't entail sacrificing the raw, adrenaline-fueled power characteristic of super-naked beasts like Aprilia's to Ono V4, BMW's S1000R, Ducati's Street Fighter V4, and even KTM's own 1390 Super Duke R Evo. While those bikes cater to a particular appetite, the 990 Duke redefines versatility, offering ample power and performance without overwhelming real-world sensibilities. It strikes a balance, a Goldilocks bike, if you will, offering a little something extra. In terms of classification, KTM positions the 990 Duke as a middleweight, albeit on the larger end of the spectrum, putting it in competition with Triumph Street 7765, Yamaha's MT-09, and Ducati's Street Fighter V2. Alternatively, some may see it as a sportier yet practical alternative to less aggressive middleweight nakeds like the Suzuki G6, 8S, Aprilia to Ono 660, and Yamaha MT-07. Recognizing the diverse landscape of competitors and user preferences, KTM opted to engineer an almost entirely new bike for 2024. The 990 Duke boasts a 96% overhaul compared to its predecessor, featuring a larger, more rigid chassis, an expansive electronic suite, and a sharper aesthetic. Of note is its new headlight, developed concurrently for both the 990 Duke and the 1390 Super Duke R, underscoring the familial ties between the two models. This is a bike that KTM intends to measure against its flagship, rather than its predecessor, the 890 Duke R. Engine A significant portion of the Duke's overhaul stems from the LC8C liquid-cooled, 8-valve, compact, engine, which has seen an enlargement from 889 cubic centimeters to 947 cubic centimeters. Courtesy of a larger bore, 92.5 millimeters compared to 90.7 millimeters, and a longer stroke, 70.4 millimeters versus 68.8 millimeters. KTM has introduced new pistons, rods, crank, exhaust, and cam timing, emphasizing that the rideability has been enhanced thanks to the increased rotating mass. This adjustment smoothens the power delivery slightly, contributing to the bike's street-friendly character, especially in contrast to the 1390 Super Duke. Power and torque figures receive a modest boost, with the 990 claiming 123 horsepower at 9,500 RPM and 76 pound FT of torque at 6,750 RPM, compared to the 890's 121 horsepower and 73 pound FT of torque. The emphasis on torque and a manageable power delivery is noticeable in city riding or navigating twisty mountain roads. Despite its propensity for mischief and wheelies, the engine's standout feature lies in its flexibility. It offers a surplus of usable torque, reducing the need for constant gear changes, thus making the riding experience less demanding. A smooth power delivery and responsive throttle showcase the harmonious relationship between the engine and electronics, enhancing the bike's mature demeanor. While the engine operates smoothly, it generates enough vibration to blur the mirrors at sustained highway speeds. Regarding the transmission, previous experiences with KTM test bikes, including the recently assessed 890 Adventure R, have highlighted issues. However, the transmission on the 990 Duke we tested felt notably improved. Shifts were swift, precise, and overall seamless, further complemented by the optional bi-directional quickshifter. Chassis the 990 Duke introduces a completely redesigned frame compared to its predecessor, notably featuring the main frame running outside of the swing arm. The objective? Enhanced rigidity, providing added stability during acceleration. KTM states, the 890 Duke was praised for its agility, but stability was an area for improvement. The frame undergoes an 8% boost in side stiffness and a 5% increase in torsional stiffness, with KTM indicating an overall stiffness enhancement of around 15%. Conversely, the swing arm takes a different approach, intentionally being less rigid than its predecessor to improve rear-wheel traction, while also shedding 3.3 pounds in weight. Further weight savings are achieved through the implementation of new front brake disc mounts, trimming 1.1 pounds per side. The wheels are sourced from the 1390 Super Duke R. Exclusive to the bike, 
The WP Apex suspension is designed with discernible damping differences between clicks to enhance feedback. The setup range encompasses 5 clicks of compression on the left fork leg, 5 clicks of rebound on the right fork leg, and 5 clicks of rebound at the shock. Despite these enhancements, KTM hasn't compromised on the 990 Duke's essence. While comfort is a consideration, the bike is unmistakably tuned for swift, flowing roads, evident during our exhilarating street ride led by KTM staff, traversing tight switchbacks, open highways, and everything in between. You can perceive the augmented stability when tackling more fluid stretches of canyon roads. Although still agile, the 990 Duke demands slightly more effort to initiate turns or transition from side to side, especially compared to its predecessors. Yet, this translates to a reassuring sense of stability and plannedness while cornering, without feeling unwieldy at lower speeds. It's akin to an athlete who's bulked up in the off-season, stronger overall but slightly less nimble. Regarding the frame, the heightened rigidity instills confidence as the pace intensifies, maintaining a sense of precision that unmistakably identifies it as a KTM, built to be pushed. However, the only area where this heightened aggression doesn't translate is in the front brakes. While they deliver commendable stopping power, the system lacks consistency in the lever pull, a matter that KTM attributes to experimentation with different pads and minor adjustments, likely pinpointing the performance issue to the master cylinder. Electronics it's important to note the comprehensive electronics package ready to support you as you ramp up the pace or customize the bike to suit your riding style. This includes three standard ride modes, Sport, Street, and Rain, along with optional performance and track modes. However, the latter are part of a demo program for the initial 1,500 kilometers 932 miles, and require purchase once this limit is exceeded. Rider aid settings are pre-configured for sport, street, and rain modes, offering limited adjustability. Yet, by switching to performance and track modes, you gain the ability to fine-tune settings for power delivery, three levels, traction control, nine levels plus off, wheelie control, five levels plus off, ABS, two levels, and KTM's MTC slash MSR engine brake system. All adjustments are facilitated through a striking 5-inch TFT display featuring dynamic illustrations that correspond to each setting change, providing clear visual feedback. For instance, selecting the very high, wheelie control setting depicts the bike in an exaggerated wheelie stance, while the very low option shows the front wheel almost touching the ground. Enhancing the user experience, a new switch cube on the left side of the handlebar stands out as one of the finest in the industry, thanks to its ergonomic dimensions, ensuring ease of operation even with gloved hands. It's in these meticulous details where KTM distinguishes itself from the competition, showcasing its commitment to innovation. The hardware design merits special praise for its exceptional craftsmanship. While the hardware impresses, the software is equally noteworthy. However, its true capabilities can only be fully realized on dry, controlled roads rather than the cold, foreign terrain of snow-capped mountains. During earlier stages of the ride on favorable roads, we extensively tested various wheelie control settings, finding the system adept at preventing the front wheel from exceeding the predetermined height corresponding to the selected setting. Notably, the power cuts are implemented with finesse, underscoring KTM's refinement in rider aid technology, a feat that wasn't always the case. Design and Quality KTM's meticulous attention to detail and commitment to refinement are evident in the hardware integrated throughout the bike. Every touchpoint exudes solidity and boasts a premium finish. There's a distinct absence of shortcuts or compromises. Each component feels carefully selected for its quality, with minimal exceptions such as the previously mentioned brake master cylinder. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.